So we are now lined up, getting ready for this women's 800. As soon as the gun goes off, I will read the field. And we, in lane one, we have Kendra Chambers. In lane two, Adele Tracy. Lane three, Kayla Edwards. Lane four, Sierra Brown. Hip five, Charlene Lipsy. Six, Ajay Wilson. Seven, Hannah Seagrave. Eight, Kate Grace. Nine, Sammy Watson. 10, Alexa Ephraimson. The Olympic trials qualifying time is 2.02.5, but the Olympic trials time is 159.5. Olympic. Uh, Olympic standard time is 159.5. The world leading time, 201 by Sinclair Johnson just a couple weeks ago. And they come through 200 in a very honest 27 seconds. That's exactly where you want to be. You can tell based off the way that they are spread out right now that they feel good and they are uh, being led by Ajay Wilson up front with the local Kendra Chambers, former UT athlete and uh, Texas resident still behind Wazell, her. middle distance runner. There you go. And then in third place is Sierra Brown of Hoka. And that is through 400 meters in 57 seconds. They look very, very strong as the rabbit steps off. She did a wonderful job, really set them up well. Kayla Edwards in fourth place is starting to move up outside Sierra Brown. Kendra Chambers is really making a push here. Her PR is two flat, 76. In fifth place, I believe that is Kate Grace, the now boss-trained athlete. She's, you know, a former Olympian at 800 meters. In this race, you can pick anyone. It's like, it, like Kayla Edwards making a move right now on Ajay Wilson. She almost took Ajay to the line at an ocean breeze just a couple weeks ago. They came through 600 meters in 128, so I'm pretty sure that we are going to see a sub two, something that is not foreign to many of these athletes in the field, as Ajay Wilson starts to throw the hammer down. Something that we see her do all the time is control races from the front. Kayla the Edwards American record holder is chasing her down, doing her best, but is probably going to run out of real estate as Ajay Wilson may be too strong. It's going to be close, but Ajay Wilson holds on for about 158. We're going to see if that's a new world leading time. World leading time was 201 by Sinclair Johnson. So we until until just now a thing moved. No, oh, well, that was like indoors. The this is outside. Okay. <laughs> but I think we might have just got to Tokyo bars? Ajay Wilson, 158.9. And then Seagrave, 201.3. Oh, although I think that's going to shuffle up a little bit. Yeah, the bibs take a couple seconds to figure itself out. But uh, not something that is unusual is Ajay Wilson being able to control a very, very honest and fast race from the front. She, I think for a lot of athletes, they have a difficult time changing gears when they're already up front. And Ajay, she hits 100 meters to go and she just blasts off. Yeah, so you know, after the pandemic shut down last spring, uh, she continued training under coach Derek Thompson, but just never showcased that fitness. And she just, with this 158, she shows that she did, never lost her step. I did read a really good article in the Philadelphia Inquirer that said that last year she started helping out at Sanfoca, uh, Sankofa Healing Studio, which is a Philly-based nonprofit that addresses trauma associated with mass incarceration. So she's been doing good work on and off the track. Something that we were speaking about last night as we saw a couple stud high schoolers running 800s here is the ability of 800 runners running well when they're younger and also developing as they get older and continuing to improve. And Ajay Wilson has been around for such a long time. She's still very, very young. She has so many American titles and you know she's now also proven that she can move up and she can run the 1500 in the mile well so you know it's already been an incredible career but I think 2021 Tokyo Olympics might be the opportunity opportunity for her to really put a stamp on it oh I mean it cast we you know the latest news is that Castro Semenya is still appealing you know for her to try and be eligible for Tokyo but Ajay it's definitely one of those contenders